doesn't and don't. This video will teach you the right way to use doesn't and don't in sentences. Doesn't and don't are simple present tense form of the verb to do. Both are contractions. Doesn't is a contraction of does not. Well, don't is a contraction of do not. Both are negative forms and act as auxiliary verbs in sentences. Doesn't is does not. The question is, when is the right time to use it? Here's a two. First, if the sentence is in the third person, this is a way of describing a point of view. Third person indicates a third party individual other than the speaker. Second, if the subject in the sentence is singular, that is, if there is only one. Doesn't has a three main uses. One is he. For example, he doesn't feel lonely. In this sentence, if there is only one subject and the sentence is in the third person. Two is she. Example, she doesn't work at home. She is only one and this is again in the third person. Three is it. It doesn't matter at all. It is a pronoun used for a thing. Therefore, there is only one and it is also in the third person. He, she, and it are all pronouns. They are singular and are under the third person point of view. Another example. John doesn't play basketball. John is a noun and he is only one. So this is singular and in the third person. Doesn't can also be used in asking questions. In doing so, it comes before the subject. For example, doesn't anyone know when will we live? As you can see, the subject here is anyone. This is considered singular in form. That is why we used doesn't. Another, it tastes sweet, doesn't it? It is the subject. This is singular and under the third person. Again, doesn't is used when the sentence is in the third person and subject is singular. Did you get it? Great. Next, don't. This is a contraction of do not. When to use it? Here's three. First, if the sentence is in the first and second person and the subject is plural or singular. Second, if the sentence is in the third person and the subject is plural. Third, don't can be used in commands. Let us elaborate these. Don't has four main uses. One is I. Example, I don't like to go. The pronoun I is singular and is in the first person because it indicates the speaker. Two is you. You don't do your project on time. You is the subject. This is in the second person because it indicates the other C. Three is we. We don't ask for credits. We is in the first person as the speaker talks about the group, including himself. Four is they. They don't have to attend. The pronoun they, which is the subject, is in the third person because it indicates a third party. This is plural. That is why we used don't. I, you, we, and they are all pronouns which whereby used as a subject should be accompanied by don't, not, a doesn't. Another example. The students don't cheat in examinations. The subject here is? Students, which is plural. The sentence is also in the third person. So here, we used don't. Don't can also be used in asking questions. In doing so, it comes before the subject. For example, you want to have this, don't you? You is in the second person, right? That's why we used a don't. And as you can observe, the subject comes after the contraction, don't. 
Next, don't they like to eat something sweet? The subject here is they, plural, right? The sentence is in the third person and the subject is plural. So we used don't. Don't is also used to give commands and like doesn't. Take note, doesn't can be used in giving commands, only don't. For example, don't ruin the arrangement of furniture. This one is a command, commanding not to ruin the furniture. Last one. Please don't turn off the lights. Another one, commanding not to turn off the lights. So we used don't. Is everything clear? Amazing. Let us now practice to know if you truly learn the proper way of using doesn't and don't in sentences. Again, doesn't is used if the subject in the sentence is singular and also if the sentence is in the third person. On the other hand, we use a don't if the subject in the sentence is plural and also if the sentence is in the first or second person. In this practice, all you have to do is to identify which one best completes each given sentence. I have 10 sentences for us to accomplish and I'll give you 30 seconds for each. Are you now ready? That's great. Let us now start with this one. Doesn't or don't. Anna Blank speak French. Your timer starts now. 30 seconds only. Which do you think is the one that best completes this sentence? Is it doesn't or don't? Time's up. The correct answer is doesn't. Very good. Because the subject, Anna, is only one. So we have to use doesn't instead of don't. Next one. Why blank? We give them some gifts. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is don't. Very good. Why don't we give them some gifts? Next one. She blank wants to go to the doctor. Your timer starts. Is it she doesn't or she don't? All right, the right answer is it doesn't because she pertains to only one. So our subject here is only one and the sentence is in the third person. Next one. Micah just blank want to be late. Your timer. Or is it doesn't or don't? Time's up. The right answer is 
doesn't because the subject is Maika and Maika is only one. The sentence is also in the third person. So Maika just doesn't want it to be late. Next one. I blank like playing ball games. Your timer starts. Time's up. The answer is don't. Exactly. I don't like playing ball games because the sentence is in the first person. Next. Blank, be so loud. Someone is sleeping. Your time starts now. The correct answer is don't. Amazing. Don't be so loud. Someone is sleeping. This is a command, right? Someone is commanding not to be so loud because someone is sleeping. Doesn't or don't. My parents blank want me to join the company. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is don't. Precisely. My parents don't want me to join the company. The subject in this sentence is plural. That is why we used don't. Doesn't or don't. Blank, everyone feel cold. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is it doesn't. It doesn't everyone feel cold? Doesn't is used because our subject in this sentence is everyone, and everyone is considered a singular in form. Next one. Doesn't or don't. They blank ignore our concerns. Your timer starts now. It's up. The correct answer is don't. Amazing. Because they is a pronoun which is plural, right? And the sentence is in the third person. They don't ignore our concerns. Last one. Doesn't or don't. The teacher blank feel well. Your timer starts now.
Hands up. The answer is doesn't because when we say teacher, there is only one teacher is in the singular form. And the sentence is in the third person. That is why we used doesn't. The teacher doesn't feel well. Did you get it all? Wonderful. So again, today we talked about doesn't and don't. The proper use of doesn't and don't in sentences. We use doesn't if the subject in our sentence is singular. And also if our sentence is in the third person. And we use a don't if the subject in our sentence is plural. And also if our sentence is in the first or second person. Don't forget the note that doesn't cannot be used in giving commands, while don't can be used in giving commands. For questions or clarifications, feel free to comment it down. That's all. Thank you and have a great day ahead. See you in my next videos. Bye!